open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. Oh, come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also the sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ the Lord ascends into heaven, Oh, come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheep. Lord Jesus, our life and our resurrection, the tears you sowed in the sorrow of your passion brought the earth to flower on Easter morning. Renew the wonders of your power in the church so that after the sorrows of our exile, we may come home to you in gladness and praise you now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, sing to Jesus, is the scepter, is the throne. Hallelujah, is the triumph, is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peace. 
has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us. Faith believes our questions out. Though the cloud from sight received him when the forty days were old, shall our hearts forget his promise? I am with you. Sweep across the crystal sea. Alleluia, King eternal, Lord omnipotent, me own. Alleluia, born of Mary, earth your foot. Let us attend to the Word of God. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, the third chapter. And he said to me, Son of man, go to the house of Israel and speak with my words to them. For you are not sent to a people of foreign speech and a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many peoples of foreign speech and a hard language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely, if I send you to such, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not be, listening, be willing to listen to you, for they are not willing to listen to me. 
because all the house of Israel have a hard forehead and a stubborn heart. Behold, I have made your face as hard as their faces, and your forehead as hard as their forehead. Like emery, harder than flint, have I made your forehead. <coughs> Fear them not, nor be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak to you <coughs> receive in your heart, and hear with your ears, and go to the exiles, to your people, and speak to them, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me the voice of a great earthquake. Blessed be the glory of the Lord from its place. It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the sound of the wheels beside them, and the sound of a great earthquake. The Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness to the heat in my spirit, the hand of the Lord being strong upon me, and I came to the exiles at Tel Aviv, who were dwelling by the Shabar Canal, and I sat while where they were dwelling, and I sat there overwhelmed among them seven days. And at the end of seven days the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In a reading from the letter to the Hebrews, the fifth chapter. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and being made perfect he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him, being designated by God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. About this we have much to say, and it is hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not the not solid food. For whoever for everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have the powers of discernment, trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, your only Son was taken into the heavens and in your presence intercedes for us. Receive us and our prayers for all the world, and in the end, bring everything into your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Sovereign and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, when you ascended into heaven, he sat down, our Lord, when your Son ascended into heaven. He sent down upon the apostles the Holy Spirit, as he had promised, that they might comprehend the mysteries of the kingdom. Distribute among us also, we pray, the gifts of the self-same Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who is the very bright sun of the world, ever rising, never going down, shine, we beseech thee, upon our spirit, that the night of sin and error, being driven away by your inward light, may walk without stumbling as in the day. Grant this, O Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Ghost forevermore. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who when in the mystery of Easter established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.